rave and all the rage at the moment are ramen bowls. You've seen them when you go to those health shops. They're lovely. They're small little bowls with different blobs of color veggies that have been used and a beautiful broth. So what we're going to do here is we're making the marinade, which is going over our six. My favorite is favorite is favorite is is a pork rasher. So six lovely pork rashers and we're gonna prepare the marinade because that needs to get thrown on top of these guys and this must sit for at least 24 hours. Really nice and simple. I've measured it out already to make life quick and easy. So here we go. Two tablespoons of soya sauce. Two tablespoons of any vinegar. One tablespoon of fish sauce. And a tablespoon of whatever your hot chili sauce is, okay? In that goes, and then one teaspoon of honey. There we go. Pop that in there and we're just gonna stir that. Next up is the juice of one lemon, and that goes in, and that is the marinade done. Okay, once that's done, we pop it onto the, the rashes. Nice and easy. And in the fridge for 24 hours. So today we're talking about one of my favoritest, all-time favoritest groups of plants. And these guys are the Asian greens. Now, there are many different names. There's pak choy with a P, there's bak choy with a B, there's sat soy with a T, um, and then it gets all very confusing. So all you really need to know is what they look like. And these are them here. They all have a very similar shape. Some are flatter, some are more upright, um, some are in between. And that's how you identify that they're the Asian greens. Many of you have probably bought these not even knowing what they are. And the thing is that they are so incredibly easy to grow. You buy them in little packs of six or you buy the seeds and plant them into a good sunny spot and they will just grow and grow and grow. Uh, as a top growing veg, all they're needing is a lot of sun, not too much water and give them a high nitrogen base. If you do that to them, they give you more and more and more leaves. So when it comes to picking them, you can either pick the entire guy off at once. But I kind of find that a bit cruel. Um, so rather, especially when you've got young ones coming on, in between we've got a more mature guy here, you can see snails and other hojas enjoy sharing them with you. That doesn't mean that you can't eat it. So when I do pick, I prefer to take a couple of the outer leaves. You can see it starts growing from the center, so it grows as a rosette, and then you will generally have a crop continuously all the way through. So you don't need to maim it and cut it down like a tree. All right, so go around, see where they are, and you just snip them off. Right, greens are good to go. Now we need to get the rest of our stuff. Now remember, I did the rashes. We put them in the marinade, and they've been sitting overnight. Oh, when you open this fridge, that's all you smell. Have a sniff, I wish you could. <laughs> okay, we wanna get these guys on now, the pork rash is on, and we're just gonna fry these and brown them up, and we're cooking these guys through, okay? Because they're part of the assembly of when we put that beautiful ramen bowl together. So let's get a bit of olive oil into here. Let's get this baby on. Right, and our yummy pork rashes. Once they're in, we can just leave them for a while, and we can start off with our broth. Ooh, listen to the sizzle. All right, guys, let's get going with the broth. The broth is really simple, um, and there are many different recipes that you can use to create your own broth. But the most important thing is that all these beautiful ingredients of yours just have to fuse together and get warmed up. Um, what we're starting off with here is a cup of veggie stock. Okay, that can also be chicken stock. We're putting in a tablespoon of soya sauce and fish sauce. In they go. We're using about a teaspoon of garlic. And then I am going to pop in some of my chilies. And one of the easiest ways to deal with chilies, and if you're not so faint hearted, then stick with the pips. Keep the pips in there. All right, and I'm actually just using my secateur here. You can use the scissors as well. And we're just going to chop them up. And that way you don't get the chilies on your hands, 
um, so that when you touch your eyes or any other part of your body, in fact, you're not going to burn up. So we'll use about half of that red guy and we're going to use half of the green guy. All right, let's get this baby on, get it heated up. There we go. And let's check how our, ooh, how our rashes are doing. Yum, yum. Let them brown up a little bit more and that's probably going to take about two minutes or so and then we'll be good to go with these guys. Okay guys, they are on the go. I'm going to stop prepping my pak choy and we're going to take our little babies. Now, we grow everything organic and all we're going to do is slice these babies in half down there. Once we've done that, we just give them a, give them a good rinse. So just like that, all the way down. And that's how we prep these babies. Alrighty. Things are smelling really good in that part of the kitchen, so I'm heading off there because these guys are good to go. Oh, look here. In my excitement, I'm leaving my tongs behind. Oh. Ah. Okay, right, so these guys are ready to go. We're going to pop them on the side here, and we're just going to chop those into three. Easiest way to do it, and that's going to be part of our stack. So get this baby out here and there we go, just like that. Nice bite-sized chunks. <laughs> okay, that should do it over there. All right, now we can start assembling our bowl. So let's put those on the side. We get a beautiful open low bowl and this is how we go. These are some noodles. Just grab a whole bunch, right, break it off. And that forms the center part. Oh, nice. And then we're going to take some carrot. And now, guys, here, you, you can use what you've got lying around. I mean, you could even use a bit of beetroot, uh, you, anything that's edible. Um, and what we do is we do piles now. We've got some mushrooms. Of course, these we can't grow, but, well, you never know. <laughs> some people could. And we're going to pop them here. It's almost like trying to be arty. But you know I'm not really good at that, so we're going to do our best. Oh, okay. And then some spring onions. Oh, it's going to be some for the worms here too, I see that. And with the spring onions, just a thin slice through here, because then you can get that out a bit. Get that off. All right, there we go. There we go. Some spring onion, and we're going to pop our pork on, and we can just snuggle it in there like it's been wrapped up. And then we go with our beautiful pak choy. That's going to go here. Mm. Oh, it looks so fresh and crisp, and that's everything about this. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Last bit is we've got a yummy egg. Um, the egg has been boiled for five minutes, so it's still kind of softish, right? Okay, so the egg is gonna be runny. It's not runny runny and it's not hard, it's kind of in between, so this is the best part. So we're gonna go, we're gonna cut this baby and he's gonna sit right on top. Oh, mommy mia, hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. Last bit, broth is coming on and the broth is where it all happens and then we pour ooh, chili, everything and we pour this right over. Oh, super, super, super duper. And there you have it, beautiful ramen broth, 
This looks so healthy. I can feel my arteries opening up already because it is so incredibly healthy. My doctor would be very proud of me. Um, <laughs> and this is Asian Greens from your garden with the twist of a beautiful pork rasher.